because of our current understanding of this mysterious nature of information, we have created powerful tools that enable us to transport, manipulate, encode, and decode information through nano-sized transistors. And these tools are computers. Computers, as you are aware, are powerful tools because they can process information with incredible speed, accuracy, and dependability. They enable users to access information whenever necessary and to share information with other users. They allow people to use the internet, by God's will, just like watching this video, which is a global network connecting millions to billions of individuals, educational institutions, businesses, and government agencies. Computers can efficiently perform input, output, process, and store operations, and they can store massive amounts of data. In other words, information. Storing massive amounts of data or information is memory management. Memory is one of the most important requirements in computers, and it is also vital for any creature, especially us humans, to remember. That's right, without memory, we would not be able to remember. Memories makes us who we are, by Allah's will. And memories contain information. Thus, we are informational beings. One of the most sophisticated areas we process information is in our brains. Our brain is like another tool, and the most advanced computer is still no match for the human brain. It takes 82,944 processors and 40 minutes for a supercomputer to simulate a single second of a human brain activity. These are 2017 statistics. Our brain contains around 100 billion cells called neurons, the tiny switches that let you think and remember things by Allah's will. Computers contain billions of miniature brain cells as well. These computer neurons are called transistors, and they're made from silicon a chemical element commonly found in sand. Transistors have revolutionized electronics since they were first invented over half a century ago. In simple terms, transistors can do two things. They are amplifiers and switches, like light switches. You can turn them on and off. And as amplifiers, it takes in a tiny electric current at one end, an input current, and produces a much bigger electric current an output current at the other. In other words, it's a kind of current booster as well. That comes in really useful in things like hearing aids, one of the first things people use transistors for. A hearing aid has a tiny microphone in it that picks up sounds from the world around you and turns them into fluctuating electric currents. But what I want to focus on are the tiny transistors, the tiny switches. A tiny electric current flowing through one part of a transistor can make a much bigger current flow through another part of it. In other words, the small current switches on the larger one. This is essentially how all computer chips work. So a memory chip contains hundreds of millions or even billions of transistors, each of which can be switched on or off individually. Since each transistor can be in two distinct states, it can store two different numbers. 0 and 1. With billions of transistors, a chip can store billions of zeros and ones. So, when a transistor is on, it's a 1, and when it's off, it's a 0. The computer mind is like a long chain of 1s and zeros constantly calculating, concatenating, and computing. And in order for a computer to calculate or compute with 1s and zeros, it must reckon with the base 2 system the binary system, zeros and ones, which is why a computer is called a computer. It computes ones and zeros. To compute with binary numbers may seem a bit complicated at first, but there's actually a simple way to learn this using an amazing tool God, Allah, gave us, and that is our hands. That's right. You can count in binary with none other than your hands. To be more precise, by using all 10 fingers in both hands. This is called binary fingers. Forget about counting to 10 with your fingers. You can count past 1000 if you want with 10 fingers. Now, if you want to participate, 
Please do if you want to better understand binary numbers and a very important logical system. All you need is a pen, or you can imagine the numbers by looking at the screen. So first open your right hand in front of you with your right thumb facing right like this. And on your right hand, write with your left hand the number 1 on your right thumb. And then the number 2 on your right index finger. And then 4 on your right middle finger. And then 8 on your right ring finger. And finally 16 on your right pinky. So your right hand should look like this. Binary numbers are written from right to left and not left to right like ordinary numbers. That is very important to keep in mind and that is why you see a 1 on your right thumb. And then towards the left, the next binary number 2 and then it continues to multiply by 2 till your pinky. Now this is how your fingers represent 1s and zeros. When any finger is unfolded, opened or pointing out, it represents the number 1. And whenever a finger is folded, closed, or curled into your palm, then those folded or curled fingers represent zeros. So zero or zeros looks like this. All fingers are folded, closed, and curled into your palm. And the number 1 looks like this. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And the number 2 in binary looks like this with your right hand. Notice your thumb, the number 1 is folded and your right index finger is unfolded, opened and pointing up. So you have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, or simply 1, 0. 1, 0 is the number 2 in binary. All you are doing is adding the digits on your fingers to represent binary numbers 1s and zeros. And whichever finger stays pointed up is a 1. And if your fingers are folded, then 0. You may have noticed that there are no odd numbers besides the number 1 on your fingers because binary numbers are even numbers. If it isn't clear yet how binary fingers work, then the following questions and examples should make you understand it better. So my question to you is, how do you add with your fingers to make the number 3? And the fingers that you add up to make 3 remain open and pointing out. And the fingers you do not need to add up to 3 remain folded, closed like a fist. Now, this is the purpose of why I'm getting into this. There is only one option or logic in order to add with your fingers to make the number 3. And that is by adding your thumb and your index. And that addition looks like this. And since two fingers are unfolded and they represent ones, you have two ones like this. 1, 1. Or the number 11 is the number 3 in binary. We'll do a few more until you get it, inshallah. We'll skip the number 4 and 5 as they unfortunately seem vulgar. So, how would you make the number 6 in binary digits of zeros and 1s with your fingers? So look at your right hand and find what numbers add to 6, and you will only find one solution. Did you find it? Your index is 2, plus your middle finger, which is 4, and they sum up to 6. And the number 6 in binary numbers looks like the peace symbol with your fingers. And when you write this in binary numbers, it gives you 110 because your index and your middle finger are unfolded, representing a 1 each, and your thumb is folded, which represents a 0. And that's how you get 1, 1, 0, or 110. Remember, this is a lot easier if you have written each number on your finger. Here, let's do a little harder example. How do you make the number 19 with your fingers? So again, look at your fingers and find the closest number to 19, which is 16, your pinky. So close all your fingers except for your pinky, which looks like this. And now ask yourself, how much are you missing to make 19? 3, right? So how do you make 3? Just like we saw before, 1 is your thumb, plus 2 is your index, which equals 3. So your hand looks like the Spider-Man's web swing or the rock star sign, which is the number 19 in binary fingers, but in binary numbers, it is 11001 or 10,011. Know that these are just fingers representing ones and zeros and not to be confused by false symbolism. 
Note that there is no other way to make 19 with your fingers. There is only one option, and that's what makes binary numbers so efficient. Thus, when all your fingers are pointing out, or unfolded, or opened, they represent the number 1. And whenever a finger is folded, closed, or curled into your palm, then those folded, curled fingers represent zeros. So the maximum number you can make with your right hand is 31, which is basically like showing a high five like this. And 31 in binary digits is 11111, because all five fingers are unfolded. Here's a chart of all 31 numbers with your right hand. Recall that a memory chip like a USB key contains bytes, plural. A group of binary digits or binary bits, usually eight, operated as a unit. So each finger on your right hand acts as a bit, a zero bit when your finger is folded, closed, and one bit when your finger unfolds, opens. Hence, your right hand has five bits of information in regards to binary bits. But if you add your left hand, you can add another five bits by continuing the sequence of binary digits as you multiply by two as shown here. Therefore, you can now count past 1,000 if you want, if you leave all 10 fingers open like this. Yeah, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, which equals to 512 plus 256 plus 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, which equals 1,023. As a result, you should now know how to count binary as it is very logical. And you should now realize that each binary number is unique and can never be confused with another binary number as there is only one option to make every individual number, thus making it very precise, effective, and efficient. Did you notice the numbers your fingers make? Your cell phones may have 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabyte, etc. with SD cards a lot more. These numbers should be familiar as they are binary numbers. Therefore, with 10 fingers, you have 10 bits, which can count till 1023. However, you can take this to another level if you flip your hands the opposite way, as if they were on the table like this. You can continue the binary sequence from your right pinky, which will have the value of 1024. This will act as the 11th imaginary finger. These imaginary fingers will include the following binary values. 1024, 2048, 4096, 8192, 16384 for the back side of your right hand. And from the left thumb, the binary values continue 32768, 65536, 131072, 262144, and 524288. This is very difficult, but it is possible to imagine all 20 fingers lined up next to each other, which will look like this. This sums to 1,048,575. Hence, you can count over 1 million bits with your fingers. So 8 fingers are equal to 1 byte. Note, every digital information are in bytes, megabyte, gigabyte, etc. So these 1 million bits of information that you can calculate with your fingers equals to 125 kilobytes. Now imagine each one of your binary fingers are like transistors. Unfolding and folding your fingers are like transistors turning on and off but much tinier. So tiny that as of 2016, modern silicon commercial transistors are smaller than 45 nanometers in size. And they are just getting smaller that as of 2017, Nvidia's Tesla V100, an enterprise level processor powered by the Volta GV100 GPU, the first chip in the world built with a 12 nanometer FFN, a FinFit NVIDIA, process packs in 21.1 billion transistors, one of the most ever jammed into one chip. Here's what 1 billion 800 million transistors look like. 5 nanometer scale devices have also been commercially produced, and we have currently arrived at 1 nanometer transistor, but not in mass production. A sheet of paper is about 100,000 nanometers thick. A strand of human DNA is 2.5 nanometers in diameter. These transistors are so minute that they're invisible to our eyes, 
but they are very real. These tiny little zeros and ones are turning on and off in mind-boggling speeds while being invisible and the information they carry are invisible and massless as well. Subhanallah. It's quite incredible how a computer chip at the heart of your smartphone or PC really is. In the case of a smartphone, you essentially have a single less than a square inch package that enables you to do almost anything from playing games to accessing a cellular network, watching videos, photos, and to contactlessly pay for your groceries. To do this, those billions of tiny switches inside each chip switch on and off up to 4 billion times per second. SubhanAllah. And without memory, none of this can be performed. Thus, memory is key.